after 64 years, we come and see that Pakistan never came into existence as a nation state. It was, it comprised of several nationalities, the Baluch, the Sindhis, the Kashmiris, the Punjabis, and, and the Pashtun. I think that uh, Pakistan was an artificial state. It was a theocratic state. And uh, at the end of the independence struggle, especially after the 1946 uh, uprising of the sailors and the general strike throughout the subcontinent from Karachi to Madras, the British imperialism and uh, the local incumbent political leaders, both Hindu and Muslim, they came to the conclusion that if this movement was not divided on a religious basis, then the national liberation struggle won't stop at the stage of national liberation. And uh, it would go into a social liberation and just imagine the period that was when the Chinese revolution was unfolding, revolutionary events were taking place in the whole of Southeast Asia and another red storm and a red transformation in South Asia would have made a big impact on the world scale and capitalism wouldn't have had a future. So it was a planned uh, crime of imperialism in which uh, there was a connivance of the local bourgeoisie in the subcontinent. And now, what do you see now? Well, after 64 years, we come and see that Pakistan never came into existence as a nation state. It was it comprised of several nationalities, the Baluch, the Sindhis, the Kashmiris, the Punjabis, and, and the Pashtun. But uh, after 64 years, the Pakistani ruling class, which had a dream of establishing a modern liberal state, has totally failed to carry out its tasks. It has not been able to make a complete a nation state. The democracy is very fragile and it's the democracy of the rich, by the rich, for the rich, even when it comes in short periods. Uh, the land question has not been solved. The agrarian revolution has not been carried through. And uh, the infrastructure, both physical and social, is in shambles. So these are the basic reasons why there is a continual stability which has been uh, growing and increasing with the passage of time. And after 64 years of independence, we have unimaginable poverty, misery, disease. 20,000 people fall below the poverty line on a daily basis. And so this shows that how the ruling class of Pakistan miserably failed uh, because of its historic belatedness to uh, carry through any uh, national democratic revolution or complete any of the tasks. So we see a terrible state of face.